Now, welcome back to the channel, gang. I'm the Cobra Crow, and it's been a minute. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. You don't want to miss any future videos, but we have to get back to the state of the collection for 2021. Hang in there. Here we go for phase four. Now, you know, we live in a tech society. We're going into 2022 here. So why not take a look at some digital timepieces? Let's get digital, digital. I want to get digital. Let's get into digital. Let me hear your body talk. No, that's not the right line for that, I don't think. Maybe let me hear your watch talk. Anyway, here we go. Phase four digital watches for the Covert Crow. about you but every now and again I like to throw on a nice digital timepiece something inexpensive something that you can beat around get into it with you know what I'm saying and not have to worry have some peace of mind that hey everything's gonna be okay and it's gonna take a lick and keep on ticking sorry Timex I know you came up with that but I had to steal it it just seemed like it flowed our first watch is the beautiful and highly recognizable Casio F91W, an icon in the digital watch world. It's been around for years. The simplicity, the functionality, and of course the affordability at only $10 to $15. What? That's right, $10 to $15. She's super comfortable, lightweight, and really low maintenance. There's not much more you need to do other than just put it on the wrist and let it do its job. Casio F91W. Simplicity as best. Now my next digital watch just happens to be one of my favorites. The Seiko G757. This is a special timepiece and of course with me being a huge James Bond fan, the appearance of this Seiko G757 in a different variant, although the same style of watch. Uh, it just so happened that Roger Moore was provided with the uh, Sport 100 model of this particular timepiece in the movie Octopussy. It has all the functionality of the Casio digital watches with the added touches of a couple of bonus functions, like the timer function as well as the dual time zone digital capability. It's pretty special. Casio knows what they're doing. They took all of that simple design and functionality that you would find in the F91W and they wrapped it all up in a fantastic stainless steel bracelet and chrome plastic case and called it the A168. And of course, let's not forget the affordability piece. We're talking $25. Yeah, that's right. So you get a more classic, classy design that maybe you could wear with some casual dress wear. You know, just sharpen it up a little bit, uh, but also has all of the things that you would expect from any digital piece out there. So it just works. And it also had a reveal in the international Netflix series, Squid Game. That's correct. And I'll provide that link down below where I cover off the A168 in my review and the reveal of the watch in the Squid Game series. Enough said. Sometimes you just want to feel like a watch geek. The Casio calculator. Boom. In a day where we have technology that's so far advanced, we can ask our phone what two plus two is and it'll tell us. These things seem obsolete. Not to mention my fingers are too big to operate the damn thing. But it just looks damn cool on the wrist. Whether you're
you're hiking, biking, cycling, swimming, snorkeling, diving, doesn't matter what you're doing. If it's an outdoor activity and you need something that's gonna be a little bit bomb proof and get you through the elements and make sure you're not gonna be in a position where you're gonna be wrecking or demolishing a watch. Well, you know what? There's one brand that comes to mind and that's the Casio G-Shock. It's a beauty. 5522 module, uh, whatever the, oh geez, what is that thing again? I hate it when it does that. I'll drop it down below so you can see what it actually is for the reference number. Listen to me, everybody needs a G-Shock in the collection. Do it. Are you guys ready? It's time for phase five, hit it. Okay, getting into the automatic movement. For starters, we're gonna go way back. We're looking at the Seiko 5 Sport. Running on the 7S 3.6 movement, had this one for a number of years. Uh, one of my original automatic timepieces, a great uh, introduction into the automatic watch world for anyone who's looking. Uh, get out there, it's relatively affordable and you can see how the automatic movement works with the rotor system. This one also has an exhibition case back. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I have it on the Bond uh, NATO, uh, which is great because usually it's around the pool and uh, with that uh, water resistance, uh, you can't beat that. Now the next automatic watch I have is the Laco Faro. I wanted something different after I had uh, given my son the Hamilton khaki officer's watch for his wedding gift. So I wanted to have something that was military inspired as well and doing a little bit of research and going back and digging deep into some of the aviation style of Flieger watches, I found the Laco Faro. It is a great looking stainless steel watch, 42 millimeters I believe it is, has the exhibition case back, you can see the rotor in there, um, and has superb loom. And of course, with that aviation inspired design, you have the minute markers instead of hour markers on the outside ring of the dial. And on the inner ring, you have the small uh, regular 12 hour uh, time set. So, very nice, very nice. Does the job, love the large seconds hand, sweeping hand. I always love the large seconds hand. It's like the heartbeat of the watch when you see it running around that dial. Yeah, she just works. And one of my favorites, uh, the Glycine Airman World Timer. She is great. I love that ability to have utilizing the dial and the bezel. We're looking at three time zones. Three time zones. So I have it set for the East Coast primary time for the large hours and, and minute hand. Uh, the GMT hand for the inner dial is being utilized for the West Coast time. And then the outer ring for the bezel is representing uh, Greenwich Mean Time or GMT time in the UK. So three time zones I'm able to monitor on this watch at the same time. A lot of fun, nice beautiful white dial, awesome uh, indices and, and numbers and the hands are looking great. And it has a significant loom as well, which is fantastic in low light conditions. Um, but one of those things where you just, I'm a big tool watch guy and this one just spoke to me, so I had to have it. But she's not going anywhere. One of my faves. And we look at a diver now. I love Seiko, I love everything's in-house movements. I love the way that they have their craftsmanship. Um, they do it pretty good, right? Uh, for, especially for the price point. Um, but I wanted the screw down crown if I'm gonna be jumping into the pool. I do have a pool and I'm around the water all the time. So I wanted that added peace of mind and I decided to get myself the Seiko King Turtle. She is great. SRPE05, I believe. I have covered it on the channel, so you'll see the link down below to have a nice full review of that one. Uh, but she is a lot of fun. 200 meter water resistance, that awesome grenade waffle cone design, green dial, unbelievable. And of course, this one's been upgraded, right? So the new releases for this particular King Turtle now are coming with not only a sapphire crystal, but also ceramic bezel insert. So quite a step up from the previous models of that King Turtle. Uh, but it is freaking awesome. And of course, Seiko Loom, superb. And the traditional four o'clock position for their divers for that crown, which is screw down, 
gives you that added peace of mind and you can have a lot of fun with this particular timepiece on the silicone rubber. And last of the automatic watches, but definitely not least, it is the Tudor Black Bay GMT. And yes, we're talking A1, top notch, awesome, unbelievably classy tool watch with a functional design and a dynamite look, right? The Tudor Pepsi, can't go wrong. I have it on the OEM leather and stainless steel polished uh, buckle and clasp, which is a fantastic look. Um, I know it does come on the stainless steel bracelet as well. And of course, it's quite versatile. You can throw the NATO on it whenever you like. If you're going to be outside or you're going to be hiking and doing whatever, and you don't want to mess up the leather or get too sweaty in the heat, uh, it just has that added versatility as well for you. So uh, yeah, she's top notch. She's not going anywhere. Like I said, every time I put it on, reminds me of my former career so there you have it that's the five automatic mechanical watches that i have in the collection they're beauties it's hard to argue that and all have their own interesting little touches to them as well so there you have it gang i'm the covert crow that's the 2021 state of the collection my collection it's been a pleasure i want everyone to be well be safe have a merry christmas and a happy new year and don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, because you don't want to miss the next video. And what do I always say? There's always going to be another video. Do me a favor. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's right there. Everyone, have a great, happy holiday. All the best to you and yours. And we got to get ready for 2022. This is the closing video for 2021. I want to see you all on the next one. Cheers.